What's going on guys? It's Matt Full Tilt Bullies. Hope y'all having a good night. Uh so I ain't got y'all video of uh up here in the building. As you probably can't see this too great big Zeus. This is a really big crate. He's got enough room to stand up, move around. Uh but as y'all know, this is where we keep uh keep them at nighttime. Hey Trixie. So I got the ones down here that have recently been bred or that like Trixie, I'm pretty sure she took, thankfully so. Um, hey, big girl. So got her down here that way, you know, I don't like to have to lift them up and stuff. And yeah, Miss, unfortunately, Miss Foxy didn't go this time, but uh, we'll get it next time. Hey, big girl. Hey, big girl. Yeah, big Nero, big Nero. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's getting pretty cold our way. It uh, it was frosted up real good this morning. Kids had a two hour delay, um, and here in North Carolina where I'm at, you know, ice and stuff is uh, a lot of these people aren't really equipped to drive in it. So hey, big Nessa, big Nessa, got them some wood chips put down in here too, and we're running. Stella, get down, girl. Here, get down here where we can see you. Huh? Get down here. Oh, there you are. Come here, girl. Hey, big girl. Hey, big girl. I'm trying to keep the, uh, oh, there's Miss Diva with her ears done. She looks wild now. She looks really neat with her little ears done. Miss Rue, I don't know if y'all can see her back here in the back. And uh, I'm dog sitting too, plus I have Zeus. And, uh, you know, these two are small. You see, she's, they got plenty of room in there. It's hard to see, but they actually do. Uh, no more than they take up and they're they get along really well. So they cuddle up together and uh, Sleep, but I'm babysitting too and uh, I got big Zeus here in the cage So it kind of made room tight, but as y'all uh, Most of y'all know some of y'all don't like I said it has been a while since I did a building video This right here is where I store uh, all my dog food. You can see um, all my little supplements or whatever i got my little shelf here with a, you know a few of my things on it um but and I, I grabbed me a few bags of this sport mix because they hadn't had it a couple times i've been i've got that uh green bag you see down there underneath them wood chips uh, which it works good too but it's just this right here i really like and uh, another thing is uh new i just got this right here if y'all can see it's uh Comega Supreme Omega 3, 6, and 9. Uh, what that is, is it, it helps for uh, digestion um, and it'll help kind of keep them a good uh, shiny coat. Uh, and it did something. It was one other thing it does. Uh, I'll look at it. Like I said, I just read it and it had a thing for dogs. So I said, heck, let's try that out. Especially if it'll get them, you know, some good oils going for their coat and stuff. Have them looking real nice and shiny. But uh, yeah, like I said, wanted to get y'all another building shot. Look at these two in here. Hey, y'all. Big Flood and Charlotte. He was bred to her, and I'm pretty sure she took. Like I said, that's my buddy, Brandon's boy that I sold him, Flood, and his girl, Charlotte. He went, actually, and I've got a really good story about her that I'm going to share. He went to uh, Oklahoma, I believe, and got her. Like 15, 16-hour drive one way and then back. I mean, it was a, it was a good drive, but... Um, and y'all don't quote me on that. I'll, like I said, I'll have to check base with him again and see, and they do really well together, but, uh, I got a good story about her. I'm going to share with you, uh, probably as soon as he gets back from vacation. But, uh, yeah, like I said, just want to get y'all a shot of them up here. Uh, so those of y'all that are new to my channel, um, what are you doing, Trixie? Get in your tub. Uh, so those of y'all, hey, baby girl, and they know what time it is. You see when they come up here, they're all like looking droopy and ready to lay down and go to bed. You said, look, Nessa, she already bedded down. She said, forget this. We're going to sleep. But uh, same thing with Miss Rue back there. I don't know if she's rooting around. Hey, baby girl. Hey, baby girl. Sorry y'all can't see some of this. I didn't want to put my flashlight on. But uh, y'all see the air condition over there and then this little heater and... 
that little heater actually does a really good job in here uh, because there's so many of them in here breathing. There's so many of them in here, you know, in a small space. And then with that heater going, it keeps it super, super toasty in here. And, it, and there's no wind chill, um, you know, so it keeps them protected from the elements. So uh, before anybody talks, talks reckless, uh, this is not where they live. If you're seeing this video for the first time, this is their sleeping uh, coordinates. I lock this sucker down like Fort Knox and keep them nice and warm and happy in here. Um, if it gets too hot, they have air conditioning. Summertime, they have air conditioning at night anyway. If it gets too cold, they got heat. And then just for them to be locked down in here, on top of that, that's what we do. What's up, buddy? Big Nero. He had been doing, other than uh, Trixie down here, he hadn't got to show no love. So he's been kind of jealous. But uh, he's he's coming back in. Like I said, I want to try this with Zeus. Um, I want to really see see what I personally can get. And, you know, if I have something to sell off of it, then that's great. Uh, but, you know, really, I really, really am excited to see what I can get, like my own little um, freak. And I know my girls have super strong genetics, so hopefully it should be a really good functional uh, little tank. Um, hopefully a little on the lazy side, uh, you know, just because I think that's awesome having a big freaky looking dog that's, you know, kind of just real chill and laid back. But yeah, that's all this building's for is uh, locking them down, keeping them warm. Hey, mama. And keeping them cool. Keeping them protected from storms or rain and stuff like that. So, uh, also, if y'all see that up there, that's the... Uh, the Odoban, and I think I've always said it wrong. I've said Odorban, but it's Odoban. Uh, and it's a, just a disinfectant. It's usually in the animal aisle. It's like one of the top recommended ones for uh, animals. But every day, this place gets, every single morning, I get everybody out of here. I sweep everything up. Anybody that's had an accident in their cage, it gets cleaned. Um, hey, buddy, look, he's sleep too. But you know, everybody's cages gets clean. You can see here uh, if I can get a decent view on it. But, you know, fresh, clean wood chips. Um, you know, fresh, clean cages. I sweep. I mop the floors. I got these, uh, like, hardwood uh, laminate floor in here. But they get swept and mopped. And there's going to be wood chips on the floor where they kind of kick them out of their uh, boxes. But And then I come through it. And I would advise doing this if, if you have a, a indoor, even your outdoor facility, is come through and just once everybody's out and do it first thing in the morning so it has a really good uh, dry time. But, you know, clean all the poop or pee out. I, you know, get um, any bad wood chips out. And then I'll spray the kennels down real good, the outsides of them, uh, disinfect everything that you can see. And... Then at night time, right before I put them in, once I know it's dried, then I throw more wood chips in. Like I said, sweet mop, clean stuff up. So, um, you know, I've, I've had a lot of compliments. People come to my um, kennel here and they say, man, it don't smell like a lot of other kennels. Uh, and my buddy Yang, we was actually just talking about this. Uh, you go to a lot of these people's kennels and it just stinks. It just reeks of uh, pee and poop. And, you know, that's a turn off, man. And... Not to think, like, say if this building smelled like that when I was in here and then they have to sleep in it all night smelling, you know, urine and feces and stuff. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, they're, it, they are animals, they're dogs, but come on now. They're still living, breathing bins, and, you know, you can only think how that would um, have to be all night smelling that just in here together. So, uh, you know, make sure you're clean and good. Disinfect, make sure you got something that kind of kills smells and... Um, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm very happy. I've had a, a tons of people come and be like, man, we've been to other places and it just stinks terrible. So make sure that you're kind of not checking that off your list. Uh, and also, one more thing before I go. You can tell it's a little dusty in here. I mean, it has to be, you know, wiped down. But it's not too bad. And these wood chips don't have like a really strong odor to them. These wood chips hardly smell at all. And I use two different kinds. I get one kind at uh, Tractor Supply and another kind of Ace, but this is the Tractor Supply kind. I get premium pine shavings, um, fine. And they're not, 
you know you have to keep them changed out or they will dust up but they're not super dusty and they don't have that strong smell uh the wood chips that have that super strong smell to them are terrible for your dog's respiratory um system uh ter terrible for puppies etc so uh you know just kind of keep that on the back of your mind hey girl i love this girl but uh this thing's getting long i really really appreciate y'all all my support uh, all the supporters, the uh, subscribers, new and old, everybody. I, I really, really appreciate y'all. Uh, until next time, y'all have a great night.